thousand there's there are no points of order during question period unless it's member for Edmonton River Bend Madam Speaker, we've heard from many across Canada that the pensions of thousands of UK expats are frozen, despite the government negotiating a new trade deal. These UK state pensions are not uprated when the pensioner lives in a country that doesn't have a reciprocal uprating agreement with the United Kingdom, like Canada. As a result, thousands of British pensioners living here aren't able to access the pensions they've earned. Can the Minister tell us what the government is doing to negotiate an agreement that will unfreeze these pensions? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Uh, Madam Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for the question. I'd be happy to work with him to get more detail on the back end of this uh, th this question. Uh, with respect, it's not an issue that's come to my attention personally, so I would make myself readily available as soon as this afternoon if he'd like to delve into this issue in more detail. It's Granville, Thousand Islands, Rideau Lakes. Canadians are counting on access to reliable, high-speed internet. Students to connect for classes, small business owners to access the virtual market, uh, farmers for crop and herd management, seniors to access health care services, and families to connect with their loved ones. The Universal Broadband Fund was announced in 2019, nearly 711 days ago. When will this government finally deliver on high-speed internet access for eastern Ontario? Here, here. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Madam Speaker, I'm delighted to stand up and speak about what our government has done to connect Canadians from coast to coast to coast. We have so many tools in our toolbox. We had the Connect to Innovate program. We have the funding through the Canadian Infrastructure Bank. We have lower satellite funding. And now with the Universal Broadband Fund we've and the, the component of that, the rapid response stream, we are connecting Canadians. Right now, we will have by the end of this year, 1.7 million Canadian, we've connected since 2015 1.7 million Canadian households and another quarter of a million households this year. I encourage the member opposite to have his communities make sure they have applied under the rapid response stream. That will see Canadian... Honourable Member for Northumberland, Peterborough South. Madam Speaker, the Minister of Agriculture released a statement earlier this week that deliberately misled Canadians to believe that Bill C-206 does not provide relief for the fuel costs of grain drying. Does this minister honestly believe that a grain dryer is not an industrial machine used in farming as prescribed in the legislation? Is she this out of touch with farmers or is she just incompetent? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. The Honourable Minister. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll be Member first question, pollution shouldn't be free. A pricing system where all the revenues stay in the province is one of the key solutions to reduce emissions. Bill C-206 does not provide relief for fuel cost of grain drying as it does not add grain drying as an eligible family activity, farming activity. We are committed to new rebates for on-farm fuel use such as grain drying in order to support our producer and make grain drying and barn heating a priority focus under the new $165 million Agriculture Clean Technology Fund. Having a serious plan that achieves our environmental goals is not only what we expect by Canadians but also by the next generation of farmers. Madam Speaker, simple question. When he wasted 100 days in the PRC, what the hell was he thinking? Honourable Member for Central Okanagan, Samilkan and Nicola. Madam Speaker, last week I asked about a small business being hurt, not helped by this government. And the response? The government ignored the question, as it is ignoring many businesses with such leases right across the country. This business is being told by Parks Canada they won't get the rental support they need because the Department of Finance believes seasonal leases our annual leases. Would the minister like us to drop off some calendars to her department so they can see for themselves the difference between six months and a year? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and we're always pleased to work together in order to support our entrepreneurs. I'd be happy to work with the member opposite, but I would like to know why it is that the Conservative Party is playing politics with a bill that will help our small businesses and entrepreneurs in this country. Bill C-14 is going to provide additional support to our small businesses.